I gotta just say this because y'all gonna talk shit if I don't say nothing, okay? The reason why I'm talking real crazy right now is I just got me a motherfucker. I just robbed a jewelry store and I got me a grill. Without further ado, let's get into the YouTube shout out of the day. The YouTube shout out of the day is going to go to Missing Avenger. Missing Avenger is a gaming creator, enjoys feedback from subscribers, down to play with subscribers, and creates content with them. Help this channel grow. We're gonna get into a little preview of this channel right now. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Jesus, and I like what this guy got me. Make it. All right, guys, so go to the link in my description down below. Click that link, find my comment, and comment under mine, letting Missing Avenger know that you fully support what the fuck they got going on and the Diamond Life sent you. Without further ado, I love you guys so much. Let's get right into this motherfucking video, y'all. Let's get it. All right, y'all, so today, baby, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we got grills, you know what I'm saying? So if we talking crazy, just know it's because we got the grill. We don't know how the fuck to talk in them yet. Right. So, you know. And they kind of too tight. Yeah, them hoes tight like braces. Y'all leave us a comment down below. Let us know, have you ever had a grill? And you know what I'm saying? Was it hard for y'all to talk at first? You feel what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get right into this motherfucker video. You guys have been blowing me up in my DM to react to Miss Dominique motherfucking Wilson. All right, I fell for a guy recently and here is what the fuck happened, okay? If you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my nigga Lil Jazz Too Cool. Link will be in the description down below. Make sure that y'all hit that link. Go subscribe. She will be going live for a live Q&A tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So without further ado, if you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty Baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Share this video with a friend. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M and let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell the angel, mama, tell the uncle Joe. That nigga still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucking video, y'all. Also, want to thank all of you beautiful people who have already subscribed to Lil Jazz Too Cool. It's so crazy because less than 24 hours, she's at 1,300 subscribers, y'all, and counting. Okay, so Diamond Dynasty, baby, is holding it the fuck down, and we appreciate you guys so fucking much, man. The live Q and A is about to be live and shit. Let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. Let's see what the hell Dominique Wilson talking about in here. I probably already know who she's talking about. Probably Lou what they do in the building, but let's see. What's up, y'all? It's Domo Wilson in this. Bitch. Oh, Domo Wilson in this. Don't mind us. We can't hear it. You damn skippy, I oh. said I was gonna post 3 a.m. I was tired. Here I am. We can't hear you, Damo. For what? Anyway, I'm gonna get started. My new music video is out. Make sure you guys watch it. It's called Unbothered. Let's see. 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 let Hey, 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 okay. I don't give a fuck what a bitch say. Huh, bitch, I'm the shit. Okay, little bitch, that's one thing I did say. Huh, motherfucker, I'm it. Okay, girl, you ain't making no money trying to figure out why they always hate no me. When I do a thing, I raise my son, post on the grand and stay low key. Yes, sir. But I can't when I can't. Facts. I can't. I'm right. No for real though. Go support. I appreciate yeah, she knows she shut it down. Boy. Love, like I always tell y'all when I be We ain't mad at you, baby. So thank you so much for loving me, for caring for me, for supporting me, Facts. for loving my son, for everything. My son's asleep right now, so this is the time I get. I'm literally sleepy, but I'm like, all right, drink a bunch of Gatorade. Let's get up. Let's wake up. Because I told you guys I want to give you guys my videos. Like I want to talk about my Facts. life. I want to let you guys know a little more. Now I'm not gonna tell y'all everything, but I'm gonna let y'all in. I'm gonna let y'all wiggle y'all self in a little bit. Also. <laughs> I didn't know this. I'm getting <laughs> the hair. What's up? You see that? Facts, though. Know, I got the little slick on, right? She giving me a little t boss action. Right. t boss you know what I'm saying? Before it was chilly. Now we getting t boss You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lie. Today I feel like y'all know I'm talking about the hair with me. Mm, man, say. But I felt like y'all was talking about this shit. Bitch, tonight I want to dance for you. Uh-uh. Roll over. I'm gonna keep it 
There go go Luda. There go Goofy Domo. Real that this ombre got me feeling like a bad bitch. Let me show y'all my outfit because I felt cute today and felt cute my Billy later face. I don't know, like I'm sleepy, I'm slack. Excuse me. Sorry if I'm too rowdy for some of you guys, but this is just my uh, Actually, I'm not sorry. I don't know what the fuck I said that you guys. Facts. You better say that shit, nigga. Okay. Let me show y'all my outfit. I'm gonna have to get on the shower ride. So if I follow y'all, please call the police and say, now I'm to Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know if while watching this video, y'all was like, is my volume all the way up? <laughs> we can't bring really this shit. Nigga, <laughs> I'm like trying to force myself to hear what she's saying right now. And I'm trying to hear exactly what she's saying. Well, me. So, I ain't got no timestamps, but let's see if we can motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Show off my outfit again, officer. Please don't Hold on, what's she gonna do? See. Hold on. She's trying to show off. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know what? I'm very awkward and I can honestly see why I'm single. I understand. Like, I was like, oh my God, a sweet bitch like me? Why am I single? But I honestly get it. Like, it's okay. No, bro, I But I want to tell y'all this story time about me falling in love with a guy. Not in love, but falling and not being good. No, this was recent. You guys, <laughs> Wait. Same thing. you guys don't know who it is. Take your guesses, you take your oh, well, she said y'all don't know who it is. Hold on, because I was thinking Lou what it do, but maybe it's not. Let's see. In love with a guy. No, this was recent. Not gonna say anything. You guys don't know who it is. You can take your guesses, you can take your But Y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all think? Damn, it can't be Lou what it do. That's the only nigga we know. And the other nigga who was in the video, yeah, but it's pretty apparent that they wouldn't motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Unless they would. Right. But she said we didn't know them. So, y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know. I just want to let you guys know, disclosure, disclaimer. I, mean, I am single. I'm not talking to anybody. Nothing's going on here. So don't try to piece stuff together. Like, oh, she's just trying to keep her life private. Like, she really is talking to I'm really not. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. And I'm gonna keep it that way for a minute. Damn, I'm that's crazy. Line. I'm focused. I'm focused, which is very important. My son is excelling, which is very important. And I'm doing good. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. Now, I'm not saying I'll never get into a relationship where I never talk to anybody again because you know I'm down to get down. You know I'm saying? You treat me good. I treat you good. You treat me right. I treat you right. It is what it is. But. Mm -hmm. All right, so me and this guy. How can I explain this? All right, we're gonna call him. Edward. We're going to call him Albert. No, that's a... Albert? What the fuck? Call him Reggie shit. I don't know. <laughs> all right, all the Alberts out there. I'm, it's a great name. Your mom did a good job. You better <laughs> use Albert so you don't get insulted by my <laughs> So his name is Albert. And uh, I just found this but you just said that we didn't know. Right, so we don't know whatever she say, we ain't gonna pick up on it. Man, that's a motherfucking. See, Dumb on Cap, bro. Yeah, she trying to distract us. Miss Dumb and Nigga Wilson, capping like shit. Nigga, mm -hmm. let me find out. Attractive. As you guys know, I came out to the world with bisexual January, and I one of the best days of my life besides my son being born and me just thriving. Reaching all the life goals I ever wanted to reach, which I just felt so free. I felt so alive. I still feel free. But when I first did it, I was like, I'm free. Nothing's holding me back. Now I can be myself. I can do what I want. I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks of me. I'm just living. I just felt like a bird. I was like, all right, this is my time to shine. This is it. Bye, mother bird. Like, I just felt good. Anyways, so long story short, I'm not going to give you all the details of that shit, but I fell for a guy. And we weren't in a relationship. Like, the worst breakups be with the people you're not even. Dang. We never had sex. Huh. We did kiss. And it was unexpected because at this time I'm like figuring stuff out. Like I know I'm bisexual, but I've never been emotionally attached to a guy. This gotta be Lou what to do. You trying to throw me off, man. Mm -hmm. You trying to fucking throw me off. You know who it is. Maybe that's why she's still you one. Oh. You what to do. Y'all let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> I think it's Lou what it do. Um, she tried to throw us off right there, but um, I'm gonna reel y'all right back on in because I just think that that's who she talking about. Y'all leave us a comment down below. <laughs> let us know how you guys feel, but I really think it is Lou what it do. And I'm like, I'm wondering, can I be emotionally attached to it? <laughs> and that's when I figured out that I I can be emotionally attached to a guy. Um, because me, I've never been in a serious relationship with a guy. Even still, this is as serious as I've ever been with a guy was him, Albert. And I don't know, he just made me feel stuff that 
I have never felt. And I genuinely mean that. Like, I'm like, what? And like, is this what the fuck I was missing? <laughs> you make me feel so good inside. I think I want to be with you forever. Now, I, I, mm -hmm. I ain't mean that forever shit. I wouldn't be with you for a long time because you got to get to know somebody thoroughly. Look, let me just also say, say this. Y'all y'all know I'm all about zodiacs and shit. Cancer is only going to tell you so much, not going to tell you everything. They could be feeling everything for you inside, but you're not going to know about it. Or you might know, but you ain't going to know for sure because they're not going to clarify it, okay? Until they're absolutely sure about you. And even then, sometimes it's hard for them to express their feelings. I'm just saying. Before you want to be with them forever. You got to make sure life or death, death. Before you want to be with your father. And long story short, I just knew. Like, I just, we had such a dope connection, right? So he was my first guy kiss. And it was just like, all right. He was my first. How? Did she say she did dudes <laughs> before? I'm guessing she's saying her first guy kiss since she's came out as bisexual. But that would be Lou what it do. Well. Cause I remember her saying this in the video that she deleted with Mr. Lou What He Do, that he was her first kiss. It wasn't the guy in the music video. Hashtag Lou What He Do in the comments down below. <laughs> first guy kiss is like sneaky, and I was like, oh shit, my mind is spinning. Got me singing. Uh uh. Oh lord. Never oh. Knew okay, Keisha. Never <laughs> knew <laughs> <laughs> Killer Keisha the builder. <laughs> like this nigga had me listening to all the love songs in the car. Like, oh my god. High school like, bitch, like I'm 12. Like, I, like I never had no dude. Well, I mean, technically, I have it. So, but you know what I'm saying? He just had me all giddy. Had me all like, like oh my god, I can't wait to he call me. Like that nigga be at school and I be running errands and I just be thinking like. Oh what is he doing? Mine altered as hell. Since I'm on the subject of Dominic, no, he never met my son. I don't play that shit. If we're not serious or getting serious, I am not, I would never, I don't like people in and out my son's life. That is something I don't play with. And he knows that. Except that you know, he wanted to meet my son. I said, Some women know him for. I need my son to have consistency in his life. And it was all good after that. It was all good. <laughs> but he did show interest in my son, and I think that's very important because I cannot be with somebody who does not show interest in my son. I cannot be with somebody who just ignores my son. Like he never existed, like he doesn't exist, even though you guys haven't met. He would always ask how he is. He would always ask how his speech is going, because my son is speech delayed. He would always ask how little man is doing, and I thought that, single mothers out there, you know what I'm talking about when you meet a man, and they show interest and in they your children. It's like, oh my, is this Russell Wilson? God, did you do this for me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> beta male. For real. But long story short, I just started following him. I don't know why. I think it's because he was the first. Not like he did anything special, like he was hella special. I'm not saying he wasn't hella special. I mean, which is cool. Girl, what you trying to say? It's no bad luck. Look. We just didn't work out, and we won't work out, and that's just what we decided to do, which is totally fine. There's Damn, no bad luck. this is such a cancer thing, y'all. They would rather run and hide than expose their true feelings, especially if they feel like they're feeling more for you than you feel for them. They hate rejection. I felt I needed to fall back because I felt deeper for him and I personally didn't feel like his type and I'll never do that to myself again, never. I feel you, 100%. But we just fell out of it. Like, it was just too complicated. It was, we just figured out that we were just best as, you know, friends. It took a little day. bit to fall out of it and realize that we're never gonna work. And that not everybody you date has to be the one. Some people in life are just True. meant to be chapters, you know? Facts. Some people in life are meant to be lessons. Most and that's people just what he was. And I was a lesson in his life. I was a chapter in his life. And as he moves on with his life, he's gonna find that person that completes him. And I'm gonna find that person that can, well, I don't need to find. I feel complete already, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway. Time. A lot of you guys probably didn't know this. Y'all probably like, wow, is that deep bitch? Like, fuck y'all, well, you wanna go tell me? No, because I ain't want y'all to like jump on the bandwagon or jump on the deep feel Like, oh shit, that was about to get married. Nope, nope, I'm not getting married in time with somebody for at least four years. That's period. You gotta really get to know somebody. <laughs> But you know what the fucked up thing is? You could be married to somebody or you can wait 10 years to marry somebody. Once you marry them or whatever the case may be, shit go downhill still. So it really doesn't matter, yeah. you know? You, mm -hmm. you got some people who are in relationships for 10 years or marriages even for 10 years and they hate each other, you know? Or, or they, you know, they fall out or they break up or whatever. And you're like, damn, I thought they was this, you know, this portrait or this painting that they try to make everybody feel like they were. And then you got this couple who only been get a, only been together for six months to a year and they might be 
in love and meant for each other. So you really can't put a time frame on relationships. What you think about that, bro? I agree. I mean, shit, you, you can be with somebody for a year. As soon as you lock them down, that's when they show their ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, bro. Oh, God. So you think a title changes things? It can. Because, I mean, like, the typical couple, if somebody say, oh, we breaking up. Oh, that's not my girl no more. Even though y'all still gonna fuck with each other, you feel some type of way because you're not labeled as the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever. So, hell yeah, yeah, she titles can fuck up some shit, bro. They can, man, they oh, can. Man. And that's why for the longest time, I ain't even wanna do titles, girlfriend, none of that. It's just like, hey, we talk and we vibing and whatever we got going, whatever we're experiencing together, that's just what we doing together. But other than that, it ain't gotta be too much more complicated than that, you know? Sometimes women want the title and Sometimes it gets more complicated, sometimes it gets better, you know, depending on the situation. Y'all leave us a comment down below. Let us know your opinion on, you know, titles and shit like that, you know. Because I know a lot of people still want titles just for, like, a security thing, you know. Really get to know somebody before you just do some shit like that. So future boo, future husband, future wife, whoever you are, don't propose to me till we've been together for at least three years because I ain't getting on no motherfucking need, okay? So you propose to me, period. <laughs> no, but I'm serious, no. I can get proposed to but I'm not going to get married until... Anyways, I'm being totally off subject. So that is the story time on how I fell in love with a guy. I don't know. I just like his personality. I, we spent a lot of time together. I definitely felt too fucking fast. It wasn't that fucking deep. It wasn't supposed to be that deep. I think I felt fast because I'm like, wow, like simple shit. How people are supposed, uh, he just treated me good. You know, we argued and shit, like cats and fucking dogs and some real shit. But I'm just like, okay, he makes me feel special. And I'm rarely feel special in a relationship, so this shit feels good to just be appreciated. It feels good to just be checked up on, to have reassurance sometimes, because the nigga was kind of terrible at reassurance. <laughs> like, you know what we are? No nigga, tell me so what we I. are. <laughs> Fuck, don't fucking, I ain't playing that fucking game. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is, he made me feel good. And I felt fast, too fucking fast. And I honestly think that's what we're doing wrong with that. Everything was just so fast. I literally told him I loved him. And he didn't believe me at all. And I was like, I can just tell people I love him. But okay. That irritated the fuck out of me. I was like, so here I am telling you, like, oh, I love you. Because you can love somebody and not be in love with them. Here oh, I am yeah. telling you I love you. When I mean I love you, I'm not saying, like, baby, let's go get married. Let's have 18 kids and let's have. I also want to say this. What is the difference between being in love? And just loving somebody. That's a good question. I feel like everybody has their own answer to that. Everybody has their different perception on it. Loving somebody, I feel like you could love your mama, you could love your daddy, you could love even your baby mama. But I feel like being in love with somebody is just like you making that commitment to that person. You you giving that person control over kind of how you feel, you know? I'm not trying to say in all aspects, but... You can say all day that you're complete, like, I'm complete without nobody. However, you wouldn't even be human if you said that an argument with your girl or something like that wouldn't get to you, you know? So I feel like that's when you're in, quote unquote, in love with somebody is when they can mess with your emotions, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like, like every little thing that they do, just get under your skin. Like, <laughs> how you feeling hurt all the damn time, you feeling some type of way. Yeah, yeah. man, for sure. But when you just love, love somebody, shit, you, you can walk off and be like, okay, well. And, and I, don't, I don't just mean negative shit either. I mean positive too. Like, yeah. if a girl can make you feel some type of way inside, you know, in a positive way too, whatever it is, I feel like that. But who really knows? Don't nobody fucking know. Y'all leave us a comment down below and let us know what you guys think. Being in love versus loving somebody is, all right? Let's finish this video. I'm saying I love you. I care about your well-being. I wish the best for you. I'm loving where we're going, and I hope we keep going type stuff. That's what I mean by when I say I love you. And he just didn't believe me. He's like, why me? What do you mean, why you? Like, mm -hmm. I thought you were fucking special. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like everybody I end up with will always question why me. And I feel like everybody I end up with, I will always question why me. Like, that's just how it is. It's like, all these people in the world, you chose me. And I'm far from insecure. I used to be insecure. I used to be sad. I used to be depressed. I used to think I wasn't good enough. And now I know my worth and I feel great. And I know I'm worth some shit. You know what I'm saying? Once you realize what the fuck you worth, you, you are unstoppable. And that's how I feel right now. So I don't need nobody to tell me what I'm worth. But soon after, he did tell me he loved me too. But it's all in a friendship way. Me and him both. Everything is friendship way. Nothing is like extreme. And if we ever stop being friends, I still wish the best for him, you know? We did stop talking for a while because we have to get ourselves together. You don't just, we had to heal. It wasn't like deep, but it was like, okay, well, give me some time to figure out what just happened here. This is, you're the first guy I've ever loved. Mm. Wow. I, not that I put it like that. Wow. 
Look, maybe I should call him back. <laughs> I, yeah. Shit. <laughs> First guy I ever loved. But, um, and I still love him. He's a great guy. We're just not great together. And that's cool. You don't have to be with everybody you date, okay? You date, you True. realize what the fuck is this is this, this is that, and you fucking stay together and move on. But anyways, my point is, this is a story time. I just wanted to give y'all some content and talk about something. I'm like, okay, what y'all talk about to everybody? Just off the mannerisms and body language that Damo is portraying in this video or giving us in this video makes me believe that she still feels some type of way for Mr. Lou Would It Do. And I think I am almost 100% positive that it is Lou Would It Do that she's talking about, okay? And that's perfectly fine. She doesn't want people to know. But if you're talking about recently, come on, my nigga. Come on. We all know it was that nigga. Right. And you just seem like, I'm going to just say this. Look, I don't think it's over. Wait, I don't think it's over, bro. Me. I really don't. Dating a cancer? I've dated multiple cancers. Dating one now, okay? And uh, I've been through this <laughs> over and over and over again. And it's just like they get so scared. You know, I won't even say it's an insecurity thing. Maybe some people will look at it like that, but more than anything, it's just they like to feel safe. And if they feel like this shit could go south, they rather toss it to the side and run than like deal with what the fuck is going on in the relationship, you know? And that's just what it is. But in my opinion, a little what it do, go get your girl, you know what I'm saying? Go get her, because if you don't get her, I might have to go, you know. <laughs> Yo, we all be here, man. Love you guys so freaking much. Make sure you subscribe to Lil Jazz Too Cool. The link wow. is in the description down below. Make sure you do that, you know what I'm saying? Catch us over there as well. I'm pretty sure we'll be doing collabs and stuff like that on her channel as well. Let her know what she need to do, you know what I'm saying? She don't know what the fuck she want to post on her channel. No. So, y'all help her out. I'm new to this. Without further ado, make sure if you have not already joined the Dynasty, baby, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share the video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M and let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend that ain't your mom telling Uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video, y'all. Love y'all. Peace. And we out. All right, y'all. So the, oh shit. I got to talk with this shit. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. So the shout out of the day is going to go to missing. <laughs> We just about to tell them we got grills in the pan. We just went and got grills today. Okay. <laughs> like I'm trying to hide. <laughs> All right, fuck. Let me do this. All right, before I get into today's. <laughs> Oh, we want to. <laughs> <laughs> Missing. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck with.